All right. I'm going to be starting on him. Um, I'm probably going to start on the mouth and the head. Those are the easiest. And when I take the head off, it'll be easier to work on the body. Sounds like the arms still have their gears. But the legs just sound like loose. Oh no, they also sound like they have their gears. It could just be something very simple. Like a, a belter. If this thing even has a belt, then it might just be that. But I don't know if it does. It's a pretty complex, I'd say. I wouldn't say it's simple, because simple is a spinner, a snowflake spinner. And this isn't very simple. It has a whole gear mech and everything. But someone said that, that this mouth actually comes out super easy. And they said that the glue doesn't really hold very well. So I want to see if they were lying. And they weren't. Okay. As you can see, the glue didn't hold very well. And now I don't have to deal with another problem of trying to glue the stupid mounts back on. Because it just has to be me where I take the mounts off and then they never go back on. But I'm just going to go ahead and start with the head. Take the staples out and whatever. Not the right way, but whatever. Alright, I'll get back to you guys when I get the head off. Oh, oops. Alright, I got the head off. It was pretty easy. The staples came out really nicely. And I could just throw them back in there. And the motor works, because I can hear the motor, because it's loud. And the string is a good length to put a new gear right back on. Alright, so I did have to replace the string because it was too thick and I knew it would just crack the gear. And it wouldn't fit on, but I just put on this really thin red string. It actually works really well. can just put this back on if it'll go back on boom on Sunday the game comes alive two teams have gained a champion fame two teams of men both skilled and gay men who have battled as brothers who combat sick and thin and now they confront each other for a prize only one can win it is kind of inconsistent. Sometimes it like goes here, and then sometimes it goes all the way down. I kind of like that though. It kind of matches the tone of voice and the narrator. And also might because this string is kind of thin and it doesn't pick up very well, but it still works. Um, I'm probably gonna, I was gonna see if I could just oil this or clean it. I'm probably just gonna clean it a bit. I'll just take the, this plastic piece out of the motor and clean it but yeah i'm probably gonna do the body and then the head i'll just go from here to up here because i don't know what's wrong with this but we'll figure that out all right so i did clean out the the motor it's pretty dirty it works a lot better now um i'm gonna start on the, the main mo the, the main mech the moving arms and legs these sound fine it might just be a it could just be like a belt or something I, that, if it has one because they sound it sounds like gears are moving it's just like with a belt it has more resistance so it moves easier and this also sounds like it has gears moving so i think it's just like a belt or something for the motor but we'll see. Alright, so I got it apart. It was actually kind of easy. I was expecting there to be a belt or something. But it's just a 9 tooth gear on a motor. And since I can hear all the gears in there moving. I don't think anything in there is broken. Which is good. I don't have to deal with that. But I don't know if this is also connected to the legs. This whole mech. I think it is. 
But I think there's a separate motor. Maybe. No. I don't know. I'll just have to check. But once I replace the motor, the motor gear, it should work fine. So let's do that. So I was wrong. This is actually for the head, which is a weird placement because I thought it'd just be like under here, like right here. But I guess it's not, but it does work. That's just great. Okay. As you can see, the head works, but the string on the mouth fell off. That's great. All right, I'm going to replace that with a probably a thicker string. I have twine. I don't have like nylon string. I know a lot of repair, gem repairs use that, but I don't have any of that. So. I'll just use some twine that I have. I'll just split it up a little bit, and it'll work fine. I got it working, and it's just a separate motor on the side. It's pretty easy. All I have to do is just put it all back together, make sure to get a new string on here, and I'll be done. So I'm done with it now. So I'll put back together. It actually came out pretty good. Yeah, that's it. It's kind of easy. He looks good now. But yeah, I'll post a video of this, including these two, because I haven't posted anything about this or him. They do both work, though, so yeah. Bye.